we have this assembly here. The 20 kilogram box is on a 37 degree incline. The string goes over the pulley with a 15 kilogram box hanging on the other side. The coefficient of kinetic friction mu k between the box and the incline is 0.1. After the boxes are released from rest, the system begins to accelerate. We're looking for the acceleration of the system and the tension in this string. So let's follow the problem solving procedures. The first thing is that we have to decide the direction of acceleration. Now this one is not so trivial because uh, 20 kilogram box is heavier, but to decide which way things go, the 200 newtons and the 150 newtons, they are not competing against each other. What's competing against each other is uh, the force pulling this way and that. So on this side, certainly you have the mg that is 150 newtons. On that side, though, it is not the mg 200 newtons. It is the mg's component that goes down the incline, which is, if you happen to remember, it is the mg sine theta. So this one is the mg sine theta, which will be 20 times sine 37 degrees, and this gives you 120. So even though this box is heavier than that one, but uh, the forces here are 120 versus 150. So 150 is stronger. That means the system is going to accelerate down this way and up the incline. So now we have the direction of acceleration. Now let's finish the force diagram. For this one, you just have tension. For that one, you have different forces, but because the acceleration is just along the incline, we really just need the forces along the incline. So instead of drawing the mg going down, we draw the component that goes down the incline, mg sine theta. It is touching the contact surface. The normal force doesn't have any component along the incline, but there is friction that's along the incline because the box is going to go up that way. The friction, kinetic friction, is against the sliding motion. So the friction goes down the incline. The box is also touching the string. The tension is also along the incline. So the tension goes up that way. It's not touching anything else, so we're done with the force diagram. Now we can find the friction over here. We know it's sliding kinetic friction, so mu k times the normal force gives us the friction. The mu k is 0.1. For this box on the incline, what do you think the normal force is? Remember the mg has a component that goes perpendicular to the incline. That one is the mg cosine theta, which cancels with the normal force. That means these two, they have equal amounts. Normal force for this box on the incline is mg cosine theta. So this will be 0.1 times mg 200 times cosine 37 degrees. And this gives us 16 newtons. Now let's write the force equation. For the 15 kilogram box, acceleration goes down, the downward force is bigger, so it's 150 minus T equals to M15 times A. For the 20 kilogram box, the acceleration goes up the incline, so the up the incline tension is bigger than these two. 
So you go to the bigger side, t minus the smaller side where you have 120 and 16. So minus 120 minus 16 equals to m times a. Again, it can be convenient for us to stack them and add them together. And again, this internal force tension would cancel because the tension is the force between the two boxes. And it's action force and reaction force. So this is 150 minus 120 minus 16 equals to 15 plus 20A. And this gives us uh, acceleration that is uh, 0.4 meters per second squared. Because this is a 14 equals to 35A, 14 divided by 35. That's the acceleration. Then you just plug in the acceleration to either of those. You will be able to find the tension that is uh, 144 newtons. In this problem, back when we were trying to decide the direction of the acceleration, we only compared mg 150 and the uh, mg sine theta 120. We did not use the friction because uh, we have to first decide the direction of acceleration so we know which way the box is sliding. Then we can figure out the direction of friction. So when we were trying to find the direction of acceleration, we did not use the friction.